Good morning, Year 6. I hope you are all well. And today we are going to be starting our new writing unit, looking at discussion texts. So, for you do now, I'd like you to look at this photograph and write three facts and three opinions about this photograph. So, facts are something which can be proven true, and opinions is what somebody thinks. So, pause the video and write three facts and three opinions about this photograph. Hopefully, for the facts, you have recorded something such as the snowman is upside down, there are trees in the background, it is wearing black boots, it is wearing a red scarf, the snowman has three black buttons, and there is snow in the picture. Those are facts. Opinions could be something such as the, pic just the picture is funny, it is cold, the snowman is happy. So those opinions are what somebody could believe. For this unit, we will be writing a discussion text. The work for today you will be doing in your home learning books. So we're going to go through each paragraph, box up each paragraph, looking at the purpose, the content and the language features and looking at new, new vocabulary. Record all this in your home learning books. You do not need to submit anything on Seesaw, but keep all these notes for the, for the lessons which will come later on this week. In this unit, we will be looking at different discussion texts, and at the end of the unit, we will be writing our own discussion text. A discussion text is a text that presents both sides of an argument or an issue, and the title of the text often outlines the issue to be discussed in the form of a question. So these are three examples of discussion texts. So if we just take this one first, should children have been evacuated during World War II? That could form the question of a discussion text because there are two opinions. Some people think 100% for the safety of the children, they should have been evacuated. Other people believe, no, they should not have been evacuated because they should not have been separated from their parents. And some, pe and some children um, had experienced very, very difficult lives when they were evacuated. This question here, should schools close on snow days? Some children believe, of course, they should not close. They need to go to school to play in the snow. Whereas some children say, for the safety element, yes, they should. And that divides parents also. Some parents believe, yes, let the schools be open so the children can enjoy the snow with their friends. And some parents say, no, it's far too dangerous. This question here, should the age of voting be lowered? Some people believe, yes. Some people believe that some 15-year-olds okay, are far more knowledgeable and would offer fantastic opinions rather than some 18 year olds or 25 year olds. So that is also an issue which has been formed as a discussion text. For our model text, the question we are going to be looking at is, should lepers be banished from society? Should lepers be banished from society? Banished, this word banished means when you want to send somebody away or get rid of something, okay? Banished is getting rid of something or sending something or somebody away. So should lepers be banished from society? So the first thing we would like you to do is to read the text independently and underline any vocabulary you don't understand. So pause the video and underline any vocabulary you are not sure about. Let's look at paragraph one. And before we start boxing up, let's look at some of the vocabulary included in this paragraph. Should lepers be banished from society? In the last few weeks, there has been an explosion in the rate of people being diagnosed with leprosy. So explosion is a huge increase. The word explosion means a huge increase. If you think about something explosive, an explosion, it's something, it's a dramatic increase. Okay, so it's not just a small increase, it's a dramatic increase. So that word explosion has been used there on purpose so that the reader knows there has been a huge increase in the rate of people being diagnosed with leprosy. And the word diagnosed just means they have been found to have had leprosy. It is estimated that over 10% of the population has been infected. Considerable debate has taken place as to whether people who have leprosy, and in brackets here, we have said leprosy, another word for leprosy is Hansen's disease, 
should be evicted from their native countries and sent away to contain the spread of the illness. So highlighted here is considerable debate. So there has been debate, but we have included the word considerable to ensure the reader knows that there has been a huge amount of debate. And evicted is when some, somebody is being sent away. Okay? The word evicted means being sent away. And the word native is where somebody lives, okay, it is where somebody lives and sent away to contain the spread of the illness. Contain means to stop the spread of the illness, okay, it's to try to pause and try to stop the illness from spreading. I'd like you to read that paragraph again and this time I'd like you to pause, when you pause the video I'd like you to record what is the purpose of this paragraph? What is the content and identify the language features in this paragraph. So pause the video please. The purpose of paragraph one is to introduce what the discussion is about. Okay, so the introduction is to state what the discussion is actually about. That's the actual purpose. The actual content in, in there is we have information that leprosy is spreading quickly We've got a suggested solution to the problem, which is to send people away. And we've got some facts in there which support the argument. So here we have some facts, which is 10% of the population have been affected. Let's look at the language features. We have fronted and verbial in the last few weeks. So the reader knows when, how long the time span. We've got a semicolon to link two main causes. So here we have a semicolon here. The first main clause is explaining that there is an explosion and the second part is about exactly how, how, how much. And then we have brackets for extra information. So here we want the reader to know exactly the name which has been used for leprosy. So what is leprosy known as? And we have passive voice. So I'd like to pause the video and see if you can find the passive voice, please. So the passive is, it is estimated that over 10% of the population has been infected, so infected by leprosy. Let's read paragraph two. Now this paragraph is in support of banishing lepers. So all the evidence and all the points made are in support of, yes, lepers should be banished from society. There is no doubt that infection rates are rising at an alarming speed. And if no action is taken, 50% of the population will be infected in the next month. So here we have the word alarming and alarming. Another word for alarming is worrying speed. Okay, it's something to be alarmed about. It's something to be shocked about, worried about. And if no action is taken, 50% of the population. So again, we have a fact here to back up this evidence, to support this evidence. To protect the rest of society, Doctors argue that anyone with the disease should be quarantined and sent to the remote island of Goethe without delay. Now, this word argue has been used. Instead of saying doctors say that anyone with the disease should be quarantined, doctors argue. The word argue is a much stronger word. It's a stronger word and will support that argument even further. And disease should be quarantined. So quarantine is separated from the rest of society okay so if something's quarantined it's set from away from some from everybody else basically if quarantined set away from everybody else and sent away to the remote island of Goethe remote is by itself if something is remote it is by itself remote island is an island completely alone by itself top scientific advisors agree they so agree now this semicolon here is so top scientific, top scientific advisors agree and the second part is going to say exactly why they agree. They have been studying the alarming data since the start of the pandemic and warn of catastrophic consequences if people continue to mix with one another. So catastrophic, the word catastrophic means causing great damage. Okay, it causes great damage. 
So they warn of catastrophic consequences if people continue to mix with one another. They believe this infectious disease can spread rapidly in all age groups and it is imperative communities do everything they can do to prevent it from escalating further. So the word imperative is vital, necessary. It is necessary, it is vital that communities do anything they can do to prevent it from escalating. So escalating is growing, increasing further. They need to stop it before it escalates further. Have a look at paragraph two, pause the video and record the purpose, the content and the language features for, of this paragraph. The purpose of this paragraph is to present the arguments that support the question. So like we said, this paragraph is in support of the question, should lepers be banished? And the answer in this paragraph is yes. So in this, con we have the contents, we have facts to explain how the disease is spreading, and we have advice given by doctors and scientific advisors. Language features, we have multi-clause sentences, example of multi-clause sentence here, we have fronted adverbials to protect the rest of society. Abstract nouns. So abstract nouns are a nouns which cannot be seen or touched or smelled. You can't use your five senses. So it's more of an idea. Okay, so abstract nouns. We will be going through this in more detail um, in the next lesson. So the abstract noun here is this word doubt. There is no doubt that infection. And we have technical vocabulary. So we have te uh, technical vocabulary is that related to science and anything medical. So here we have disease, we have quarantine, scientific advisors, we have infectious disease. Okay, so all those are part of technical vocabulary. Paragraph three is against lepers being banished. Despite the overwhelming evidence, most civilians wholeheartedly disagree with this strategy. In fact, they argue that there are many benefits to people being with their families when battling this infection. Overwhelming is the huge amount of evidence. Okay, there's a lot of evidence to support this. Wholeheartedly is totally disagree. They totally disagree with this strategy. At home, people can care, be cared for sufficiently. Loved ones can provide around the clock care and administer medication. So they could administer, they could give the medication themselves. Sending those affected away will only cause greater stress and split families up. Parents find the idea of being separated from their children inconceivable, so unthinkable. They can't even think about being separated from their children. In addition, a small number of medics who have been researching the illness believe the disease is not as infection as they first thought and cannot be trans transmitted through touch alone. Transmitted means passed on. So they're saying it can't, it cannot just be um, passed on from one person to another just by touching. They think good hygiene and medication can slow the spread of the infection. So again, pause the video and explain the purpose, content and language features of this paragraph. So paragraph three is to present the other side of the argument. So they are disagreeing with what was presented in paragraph two. And it's and the content is the reasons to explain why it is important people are not sent away. So let's look at the language features. Conjunctions to link contrasting ideas. So here we have despite the overwhelming evidence. So this conjunction is saying, I know we have um, all this evidence. However, OK, so it's it's contrasting the ideas hyphenated words so here we have wholeheartedly and then we've got colons to expand and add extra details so here we have the colon used to add on extra information how they can be cared for and then we have dash for more emphasis okay we know that it causes stress but here We've, we are elaborating on the idea, we're expanding on the idea why it causes them so much stress. Paragraph four forms the conclusion. The evidence for and against sending those with leprosy away are compelling. The scientific evidence and social implications are, so, are important factors. So compelling is overpowering. 
the scientific evidence and social implication, the results are important factors. The potential negatives and relatively limited research into this disease leads, leads us to question whether the drastic action of banishing those inflicted with it is the best strategy at this moment in time, is the best method. So the conclusion is saying they've weighed up all the positives and negatives and at this moment in time they don't believe that actually banishing, banishing those who have leprosy is the best method. Video and explain the purpose, content, and language features of this paragraph. The purpose is to summarize the main points of the discussion. The content is the main reasons for and against. And the language features, we have a dash here to emphasize the main points that have been drawn out of this discussion. Please make sure you have recorded the boxing up for each paragraph. You don't need to submit in your boxing up on Seesaw today but you will need it for the following three weeks. So please make sure you have recorded everything down. So for each paragraph, you have looked at the purpose, the content and the language features. Okay, see you tomorrow.